Welcome to Radflix 1991. My name is Joe. These are just opinions. I am, I am Joe Pinion. Today we're going to be diving into the raddest movies of 1991, voted on by our normal people panel. What is a rad flick? Rad flick is a movie that has stood the test of time. Just tired of all the crap out there that won back then. For 1991, best picture was Silence of the Lambs. Best director, Jonathan Demi, Silence of the Lambs. Best actor, Anthony Hopkins, playing Hannibal Lecter, Silence of the Lambs. And best actress, going to Jodie Foster, playing Clarice starling silence of the lambs I'm not gonna lie silence lambs pretty rad and it's gonna be all over this list jodie foster one of her best roles one of her greatest movies period 1991 the world lost freddie mercury lead singer of queen i'm gonna do the top 20 songs all time for the band queen dr zeus the children's author red fox legendary comedian miles davis maybe the greatest jazz musician of all time definitely top tier miles davis just an incredible career but as rad as they come really same with red fox so 1991 we're talking about season four of the wonder years if you follow the wonder years that's the one where ross from friends was karen's boyfriend in the wonder years david schwimmer like him a lot liked him in that movie paul bear a lot so there's the high school election wonder years season four love the wonder years wrestlemania 7 is 1991 this is where the iraqi war takes place in the early months before wrestlemania 7 that's where sergeant slaughter is all of a sudden like an iraqi guy bad guy and hulk hogan is back to save the day in the main event of course right around when i sort of lost interest with wrestling in general saturday night live 1991 there's the cover of it there. It's when like Dana Carvey's still in his heyday. It's when Chris Farley like really kind of broke out in 1991. Also got Unsolved Mysteries over here. Shout out to Unsolved Mysteries back at that time. That's terrifying the lives of everybody in 1991. Just the ghost stories alone, that show just scared the crap out of me. Shout out to In Living Color. In Living Color just launched so many people, especially Jim Carrey and Damon Wayans. First category raddest horror 1991 let's go finalist raddest horror suspense 1991 goes to freddy's dead the final nightmare freddy krueger robert england this is basically the end of the freddy krueger franchise and this is actually the one when i started watching it because i was still just a kid next up directed by jonathan demi the movie is silence of the lambs starring scott glenn ted levine anthony hopkins jody foster silence of the lambs one of the best suspense movies ever made you know that one house that adults whisper about and children cross the street to avoid wes craven brings you the people under the stairs brandon adams everett mcgill and wendy robbie sorry directed by wes craven i love this movie so thank you, Wes Craven. Again, yes. This is like the number one movie I worried that I would miss when I made these lists. Nothing cooler. Fool. The, the daughter's name is Alice. My favorite thing that Wes Craven even did since Nightmare on Elm Street Part 1 was Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs. Next up, starring Jessica Lange, Juliette Lewis, Nick Nolte, and Robert De Niro in Martin Scorsese's Cape Fear. A psychological thriller, this psychopath gets out of jail and is, seeks revenge on his lawyer. Winner for Suspense Horror 1991 goes to The Silence of the Lambs. Runner-up goes to Wes Craven's The People Under the Stairs. Can't argue with either. It's an amazing suspense movie, and People Under the Stairs is just a really underrated movie. Up next, Raddest Comedy. For Raddest Comedy, we have eight finalists. Raddest Comedy 1991. In the comments below, it's a playlist of all the trailers mentioned in this episode. Let us know what your picks are for the categories if you've made it this far. First up, Raddest Comedy. The movie is Dutch. Directed by Peter Feynman. It was written by John Hughes. It's a road trip movie starring Christopher McDonald, Joe Beth Williams, Ethan Embry, and Ed O'Neill. Love Ed O'Neill. And I love him in these dramatic roles. This is a great one. It's uh, John Hughes. It's just like watching any other John Hughes road trip movie. It's, it's great. It's an easy watch. Next up, Father of the Bride, starring Martin Short, Kimberly Williams Paisley, Diane Keaton, and Steve Martin in Father of the Bride, directed by Charles Schreier, George Bonks, Martin Short, and Steve Martin. This is one of my favorites. Next finalist, Radflix 
Comedy 1991 goes to Hot Shots. Charlie Sheen, Carrie Ewis, Valeria Gorlino, Lloyd Bridges, directed by Jim Abrams. Hilarious slapstick, similar to the Naked Gun spoof of Top Gun. Next up, finalist, director Frank Oz brings us What About Bob, starring... Charlie Cosmo, Julie Haggerty, Richard Dreyfus, and Bill Murray. It's about this guy, Bob Wiley, who follows his psychiatrist on a, on a vacation, I think. Next up, directed by David Zucker. Next up is Naked Gun 2 and a Half, A Smell of Fear. Leslie Nielsen, Priscilla Presley, George Kennedy, O.J. Simpson, David Zucker, Lieutenant Frank Drebin. I remember seeing this one, I'm pretty sure in a small theater on Salt Spring Island. You know, in the church, I just remember people rolling in the aisles. Directed by Ate De Jong. Next up is Drop Dead Fred with Marsha Mason, Rick Mail, Phoebe Cates, Tim Matheson. And the last nominee for comedy 1991, Radis Comedy, goes to The Adams Family, starring Raul Julia. Angelica Houston, Christopher Lloyd, and Christina Ricci, directed by Barry Sonnenfeld. The Addams Family, based on the old TV show. And the winner of Radis Comedy of 1991 goes to What About Bob, starring Richard Dreyfus and Bill Murray. Awesome comedy, family movie, What About Bob. Runner-up goes to Hot Shots, both certified rad. Next up, Radis Action Sci-Fi Adventure. We have five finalists. First up, directed by Catherine Bigelow, the movie movie is Point Break, starring Laura, Lori Petty, Gary Busey, Patrick Swayze, and Keanu Reeves. This movie was a big deal. Point Break. These guys are robbing banks. There's undercover cops. There's surfing. There's fighting. There's everything that you get in the, your average Patrick Swayze movie and Keanu Reeves. I was a kid when this came out. This is really like a breakout for Keanu Reeves for me. <laughs> Next up, Terminator 2, Judgment Day, directed by James Cameron, starring Linda Hamilton, Edward Furlong, Robert Patrick, and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Terminator 2, Judgment Day, directed by James Cameron, is one of the raddest movies ever. If we're doing the raddest flicks of all time, Terminator 2 is in the conversation. Get down. Get down. Come with me if you want to live. The Guns N' Roses, I think of Guns N' Roses, I've got toys in the room terminator 2 action packed sci-fi adventure perfect as an age to second well maybe judgment day being on in 1997 but other than that this goes out to my boy randy terminator 2 judgment day finalist next up starring damon waynes and bruce willis the movie is last boy scout directed by tony scott tony scott was kind of famous especially around this time making awesome action adventure movies. Jimmy Dix was a man thrown out of football. They were trying to clean up their acts, and they got into the dirty world. Anyways, Bruce Willis, Damon Wayans, both super cool. Talked about uh, Living Color earlier, starring Damon Wayans. We would rent this movie because we all love Die Hard and Damon Wayans. Next action sci-fi adventure, 1991, goes to Robin Hood. Prince of Thieves, starring Alan Rickman as the Sheriff in Nottingham, Mary Elizabeth, Morgan Freeman, and Kevin Costner. Robin Loxley, directed by Kevin Reynolds. Second favorite Robin Hood of all time. My favorite being the Disney animated version. Rob from the rich and give to the poor. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Next finalist for Radis Action Adventure Sci-Fi in 1991, directed by Steven Spielberg, starring Dustin Hoffman, Julia Roberts, Bob Hoskins, and the late great Robin Williams. Hook. Special movie to me. Family favorite. Love Robin Williams. Love this movie. Love Hook. The final finalist is Hook. And the winner of Radis Action Sci Fi Adventure of 1991 goes to Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Maybe the Radis Sci Fi Action movie of all time. Love the soundtrack. Linda Hamilton. Runner ups for Radis Action Sci Fi Adventure 1991 go to Point Break. Can Reeves, Patrick Swayze. And third, Radis goes to Last Boy Scout, starring Bruce Willis and Damon Wayne. Next up, Family Movie Night. Seven finalists for Family Movie Night. First finalist goes to My Girl, directed by Howard Zeif, starring Jamie Lee Curtis, Dan Aykroyd, Macaulay Culkin, and Anna Chumsky. She's playing Veda Saltenfuss. I was still a kid, like I said. I loved 
the movie My Girl, summer movie about two kids that are friends that were, you know, roughly around the same age I was. Has Dan Aykroyd, has Jamie Lee Curtis, has a bunch of familiar faces in just a good all-around movie. Next finalist for Radis Family Movie Night is Adam's Family. The Adam's Family, directed by Barry Sonnenfeld, starring my childhood crush Christina Ricci. Talked about already. Excellent family movie. The Adams Family. A Halloween must around our house, and my family loves it. We have decorations for Adams Family year round. Christmas decorations of Adams Family. Love the Adams Family. Respect. Angelica Houston, I love her so much in this show. Christina Ricci. Hello. Call me. Family Movie Night again, directed by Steven Spielberg Hook, starring Robin Williams, Dustin Hoffman. Peter Pad. Just love Dustin Hoffman as Captain Hook in this movie. Perfect villain for this incredible family movie. Next finalist comes from Walt Disney, and the movie is Beauty and the Beast. I'm not going to lie. I've never seen Beauty and the Beast. Sorry. I just never made it through this one, and it made a point of only showing my kids movies that I like. Pretty sure it was up for Best Picture of the year. I don't know why. Never saw it. But anyways, it makes Radflix Family Movie Night finalists. As voted on by the rest of the Rad panel, and apparently they all agree it's great. Up next, directed by Joe Johnson, the movie is The Rocketeer, starring Jennifer Connelly and Billy Campbell, Alan Arkin, Timothy Dalton. Great family movie. Jennifer Connelly owns in this movie. She's excellent. It's about the stunt pilot that basically straps a rocket onto his back or finds this rocket pack and, and is able to fly with it. Next up, Family Movie Night, directed by Charles Shire. The movie is Father of the Bride, starring Steve Martin, Martin Short, Diane Keaton, powerhouse actress, Kimberly Williams Paisley, who I had a massive crush on when I was a kid. Kieran Culkin was in these movies as well. Now famous for Secession. And the final finalist for Raddest Family Movie of 1991 goes to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Secret of the Ooze, Teenage Ninja Mutant Ninja Turtles Part 2, directed by Michael Pressman. I remember liking the soundtrack to this one. I definitely like the first Ninja Turtles movie better than the second one. I like the second one better than the third one. Ninja Turtles Part 2, Family Movie Night. If they've seen Part 1, they're going to love Part 2. It's over, a little bit more over the top, a little bit brighter, more bad guys. Super Shredder. The winner of Radis Family Movie of 1991 goes to Hook. Directed by Steven Spielberg, starring Dustin Hoffman and Robin Williams. Rufio! The Addams Family comes in second, and Beauty and the Beast comes in third. What the hell do I know? Next, Radis Drama. For Radis Drama, we have eight finalists. The first being Fried Green Tomatoes, directed by John Avnet, starring Mary Louise Parker, Mary Stewart Masterson, Jessica Tandy. Thanks for only having two names, Jessica. And Kathy Bates. And I remember actually watching this one a fair bit when I was a little kid, being a little bit traumatized by the opening scene. Tearjerker. I remember thinking that when I was a kid, that it was actually... Kind of quite sad. Next up, directed by John Singleton. The movie is Boys in the Hood, classic. Starring Morris Chestnut, Lawrence Fishburne, Ice Cube, Cuba Gooding Jr. Set in South Central Los Angeles. Following Trey, Doughboy, and Ricky through the hood. Having some Mr. Browns. Next up, directed by Jonathan Demme. Signs of the Lambs, Drama, 1991, no question. Jodie Foster, Anthony Hopkins. Next up, starring Jeff Bridges and Robin Williams, The Fisher King. Directed by Terry Gilliam, one of my all-time favorite directors. 1991's The Fisher King. It follows the relationship between Jack, he's a shock jock, and Perry, a homeless man. Haunted by a vision. Together, they venture on a quest together in the streets of New York. Terry Gilliam, just so creative. Also, Amanda Plummer is excellent in this movie. Next up for Radis Drama, Cape Fear, Martin Scorsese directed, Robert De Niro, Nick Nolte, Jessica Lang, Juliette Lewis, stacked lineup, and this one delivers. Next up, Radis Drama 1991 goes to Sleeping with the Enemy, starring Patrick Bergen, Julia Roberts, Kevin Anderson, and Elizabeth Lawrence, directed by Joseph Rubin. This is a movie about a psycho ex. Edge of the, your seat, Julia Roberts on a tear. Think about it anytime I arrange things in the cupboard. If you've seen it, you know what I'm talking about. Next finalist, Thelma and Louise, starring Gina Davis and Susan Sarandon, Brad Pitt, and Harvey Keitel. Directed by Rid Ridley Scott. Gina Davis, incredible. Susan Sarandon, incredible. Up next, directed by Oliver Stone, starring Val Kilmer. The movie is The Doors, also starring Meg Ryan, Kyle MacLachlan, Kevin Dillon. Biographical film about 
Jim Morrison, lead singer of The Doors. Down here, one of the movies in the background here is Dennis Leary's No Cure for Cancer Stand Up, which is one of my favorites of all time. And his take on The Doors, I'm drunk, I'm nobody. I'm drunk, I'm famous. I'm drunk, I'm dead. Raddest Drama 1991 goes to Boys in the Hood. That's the winner. Raddest Drama 1991 is Boys in the Hood. Certified rad, 100%. Runner up for Raddest Drama 1991 for Rad Flicks, Silence of the Lambs. Next up, most watched, Normal People Panel. Five people on a Normal People Panel. Third most watched for Jesse is Beauty and the Beast. Second most watched is T2, Judgment Day. And most watched for Jesse is Hook. For Bob, third most watched is Hot Shots. Second is Point Break and his most watched movie, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. I did want to mention too that Terminator 2 Judgment Day did sweep the action sci fi uh, for first place across the board. That doesn't happen that often. For Caro, most, most watched Silence of the Lambs and her most watched movie of the year is T2 Judgment Day. For Ian, third most watched was Adam's Family. Second, Point Break, most watched Terminator 2 Judgment Day for Ian. And for myself, third most watched Silence of the Lambs. Second most watched Father of the Bride and most watched Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Terminator 2 Judgment Day is the most watched movie by the Normal People panel. Second point break. And now to the final category, raddest movie, 1991. The finalists are, finalists are Hook, The Silence of the Lambs, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, Cape Fear, The Addams Family, Thelma and Louise, Point Break, and The Fisher King. And the winner of raddest flick of 1991, goes to Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Oh yeah, baby. James Cameron, Linda Hamilton, Ed Furlong, Arnold Schwarzenegger in one of the raddest action adventure sci-fi movies of all time. It came out in 1991. Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Second raddest movie of 1991 goes to the best picture of the year, which is The Silence of the Lambs. The raddest movie of 1991 is Terminator 2. I can say that with confidence and uh, so can you. So that does it for another episode of Rad Flicks 1991. Remember to live and let live. Be normal. Feel free to gank my list. Description below for the playlist of all the trailers mentioned in this episode. Like to know, have some input. Let me know your thoughts on each category and what you would have had for your winners per category. Also, check out my Discord. Also, check me out on Patreon, Joe Pinionated, my YouTube channel at my friend Joe on YouTube, hashtag Joe Pinionated. I'm sorry, I'm a little low on facts and high, high on, opinions. on opinions. Respect to the raddest movie of 1991, Terminator 2 Judgment Day. See you on the next one. Submerged at sea Days and weeks at a time Ninety-six million pounds of steel go swimming by I see your eyes surveying In the mirror on the tide Am I overstating this need to make it right Cause I